Oh. Oh, oh, oh. And what's this? A new series on the channel. That's right. That is correct. You join us today with a new series of how to play FM 2019. So today's episode is going to be one of seven episodes today. I'm going to release them all on one day. So anybody new to the game can follow through these quick 20 minute episodes, seven of them in total. Play along with me while I'm doing these things. And hopefully you'll enjoy Football Manager a lot more when you have a little bit more of an understanding. Uh, this video and this series is aimed at a specific group of people. Um, those, well, two kinds of people. One, who have never played Football Manager before, really, or are struggling with the game. Uh, so this is going to be a really easy tutorial, letting your staff do a lot of the work, making the game a lot more enjoyable for those who have just started playing. Obviously, you can make it as hard as possible. You can get really in depth, but this series is more just looking at making the game easy for newcomers. You also will need to have a little bit of football knowledge. When I say football knowledge, not so much as in, you know, you need to be the next Rafa Benitez or the next Pat Guardiola, but just like, you just need to have a bit of an understanding of kind of players, uh, a bit of knowledge about what players play where, you know, what, you know, you'll, you'll understand when I go through, but a slight knowledge of the game of football is recommended. But if you've downloaded Football Manager, then I would have, I would imagine you know something. So when you load the game up, this is the screen that you are greeted with. You may not have anything here um, because that is obviously your loaded save. So the first thing you do is you click Career. Now, you might not get this screen, but you should do. Um, you always want to advance setup. If you have any databases downloaded, which I can't imagine you will, let me just take off this one. These are all the databases that I've downloaded. Um, but normally you want to run the 19.3.0 update. And this is being recorded on the 22nd of July, 2019. So this is the most up-to-date database. You can pick a squad right now, um, or you can pick a team later. I suggest you press pick team later and then click advanced setup. It'll load the database in. This can take up to a couple of minutes. It'll give you a preset of active leagues that will be in your save. If you don't have an active league uh, in your save, say if you wanted um, the Norwegian league, if you just press start game now, you will not be able to manage in the Norwegian league. Um, you won't get any uh, stats or any information on the Norwegian league. Uh, you can still buy players from the Norwegian league and you can sell players to the Norwegian league. But it won't have all the players. So if you know a really good 16-year-old who plays for uh, Tromstead and he's in the under-17s, if you don't load the league up, he will not be on the game. That goes for any other league. Scottish League, he does that Dembele uh, in Celtics under-18s, six under 18s, I think. If you don't load the Scottish League up, you're not going to get them. You'll get all the first-teamers, but you won't get all the in-depth so to add and remove leagues, you literally press add and remove leagues. And you can add as many as you want. You can add as little as you want. You can untick them. You can tick them. Uh, the star ones are, uh, well, I was going to say the star ones are the most popular, but Scotland, Wales, and Ireland. Uh. Uh, so if I were to add, say, Belgium, Denmark, I could add Holland and Greece. But to note, the more leagues you load up, the slower your save will run and i'm not saying it'll it'll run really slowly because that all depends on the speed of your pc the amount of leagues you've you've uh, added the database that i'm going to go into in a second how many plays you've uploaded so normally what i would suggest for beginner people is you should have a club in mind who you want to play add that league so you add England. I'm going to do a Liverpool save just because they're the most famous team right now. Everybody knows them. That's great. Um, then I would suggest of adding the main, uh, the main countries. Where's Spain? Show me Spain. There we go. 
So I've got England, France, Germany, Italy, and Spain all loaded up. Now you might know that uh, Andelect have a lot of youth. Add Andelect, you know. Belgium isn't going to break the bank when it comes to speed. So my estimated speed is four stars. And in here, you can choose what leagues that this country actually loads up. So you could just have Premier League only, but then again, you will not be able to play in any, you won't be able to manage in any division below that. If your team gets relegated from the Premier League and you haven't got the championship loaded up, I think it will load it in automatically, but it will skip to the next season. So if you get sacked halfway through a season, it will skip to the next season. Um, so Belgium again, you probably already really want the A League, French, I normally just go uh, the second league, Bundesliga 2 and above, yep, yeah. Italian Serie B and above, Spanish second division and above. Um, and as you can see, my estimated speed has actually gone up by half a star because I've taken a couple of leagues out, but I want to play championship and above. But no, I'm going to go League 2. That has taken half a star off. Approximate play accounts you can have small which you know takes a few thousand off and large i always play on large because there are some players that are in the reserves or the under 19s of clubs in maybe you know the french second division that i've scouted before in previous save and i'm like oh next time i really want to sign him next thing to note is down here um do not add key staff you want to tick that and you want to disable player attribute masking. Now what that means is, well, we'll get into it a little bit more in the um, in one of the episodes on players and stats. But if you don't have this ticked, you will not see the player's stats straight away. You have to scout them, which is fine for an accomplished player because you'll have an idea of what Falcao's finishing might be or what what passing uh, Perlo has, for instance, if you were still on the game. But you wouldn't be able to see it. You would have to scout that player, which can take up to one or two weeks, and then you have to make a decision. So by clicking this, you see all the player's stats every time you click on their name. You don't have to scout them. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to like watch them in a game or anything like that. You just get their stats straight away. And then the last thing we need to do is a game start day. Now I'm going to be Liverpool, so I'm going to be starting in England. Now I can pick pre-season, 2018, 2019, or late pre-season. We can go straight to the start of the season. We can go to the first matches of the Champions Cup. And we can go to the first matches of the Europa Cup, Europa League. Uh, I would suggest doing pre-season early pre-season just for getting transfers in and getting your team familiar with the tactics that you're going to choose i'm going to click early pre-season and then i'm going to start the game you have selected 13 leagues from six nations with a large database the game will start in england of june 2018 start game now this will take a few minutes to set up uh, it's downloading all the databases and everything whatnot we'll just give this a few seconds to download now this is where I wish I edited my video so I could just cut this little bit out. And I think you're thinking the same. So as I say, this is going to be a seven part series. We're going to have uh, setting up the game and staff. So that's what we'll be going through today. Episode two is dynamics, morale and team report. Uh, let me just go through my little notes here. Uh, number three is player stats. Uh, number four will be tactics and roles. Episode five will be all about the finances. Episode six will be about scouting and transfers. And finally, episode seven will be what to do during matches. So hopefully I'm, these videos will be about, I'm hoping between 15 and 20 minutes long. I don't want to go into too much depth because the, the best way to play it is to just play it and learn and learn from your mistakes. Um, another really good way of learning how to play the game is obviously watching tutorials like these and just watching other YouTube creators. Um, you've got the likes of Dr. Benji FM, you've got Loki Doki, you've got Work the Space, uh, you can watch my series on the Ajax and just watching what they do and what they press um, and what, they, what their f uh, preferred familiar tactics are and stuff. Um, you can really pick up a lot just by watching. 
So next, you, you cho uh, you're met by the choose profile. Now you can upload a picture, which I have done. This is um, what I would look like if I was a serial killer. Um, you can change your name, you can um, pick a favorite team. This is a good idea to pick a favorite team. If I just want to edit profile, uh, this is what you'd be met with. So you put your name, your surname, your nationality, your place of birth. Place of birth is good. If I was to manage York, it's a little bit more immersive and the papers will be like, oh, so you're playing for your, you're managing your own, um, you're managing your home team, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then if I was to put York as my favorite team, I, this isn't confirmed, but I think it gives you a little bit of leeway with the board about being sacked. Uh, so I could put my favorite team as York. You just click Europe and then you go to England, then you go to national there, and then there should be at the bottom. Oh, are they at the bottom? And there they are. They used to be in this league, they're now in this league. Ah, I'm not going to put that. Appearance, you can change everything. As I say, you can generate a 3D model from a photo, which is what I've done. You just upload a photo and follow the instructions. Uh, you can make yourself your birthday as heavy, as tall as you want. doesn't really make a difference, this. You don't really see him an awful lot. Uh, you can change what he wears. So I've gone for tactical, but you can wear that. You can wear this. You can have this. You can even be tracksuit. Look at Look at the state of that jacket. Arsene Wenger wannabe. Uh, you can be tracksuit, but I do like tactical manager one. And it's also, if you know what team you're going to be, it's nice to, you know, if you're going to be Watford, to put like a nice yellowy orange tie on. A bit immersive. Uh, so you're next, we go to choose team. Now this is a big reason why we didn't pick a team right at the beginning. is because you get all this information here of the teams that uh, you can pick. So if I'm going to go to England Premier League, Arsenal, it tells you the finances. Where's finance? Finances are rich. You know, it tells you about the stadium, the training facilities. If you're looking to bring you through, you might want to look at how their training facilities are. Uh, Burnley, they're a rich club. Uh, stadium capacity, excellent training facilities, blah, 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 blah. Um, so I'm going to be Liverpool. It tells you their nickname of the Reds. We play at Anfield, we've got excellent training facilities due to move training ground to Kirby Academy of the first, so the start of next season, which might just bring a couple of youth players through. Uh, data analysis facilities are state of the art, youth facilities are excellent, um, and it tells you what, so we're in the Champions League, Europa Champion, uh, European Champions League, Tottenham, European Champions League, Watford, nothing, West Ham, nothing, United, oh, the European Champions Cup. That's a shame, isn't it, Man United fans? So we pick Liverpool, and then we click managerial style. Uh, you can actually pick uh, to be both international, or you can click to start unemployed. But we're going to be Liverpool. Now, I advise that you go to Continental Pro Licence and International Footballer as your past experience and your coaching badges. This will make the game easy for you. It will get the respect of the, the players on your side a lot more. And if it's your first time you're playing the game, I highly recommend you do this. Um, you can take stats out of here and add them to other places. Uh, this is just a preset for me. This is what I go on. Uh, I always take stuff out of the goalkeeping because you have a goalkeeping coach. You never really interact with the goalkeepers. So normally knock these down and add everything else onto the on there. Uh, you, if you were to do like starting the lowest league possible you can be a sunday league footballer and you can be you know no qualifications whatsoever and you can ask the club to then provide coaching courses for you um but as i said continental pro international footballer global and then we confirm and we should then go into the game uh let's do liverpool they say yes so you create the save and then you are in the game uh, so we'll just wait for this to save. It'll only take a few moments. Okay, and here we are. So this is our inbox. Inbox here. This is the screen that you'll see the most when you, in between games, before you click anything on this left-hand side here. So today we're actually going through setting up the game and stuff. So we've set the game up. Now there is a thousand and one things to do when you set the game up. But the best thing for a new player to do is to click staff. Okay, and it takes you to this screen here. Now you have nine coaching staff. This includes your you, your assistant manager, and any other staff. This will be different 
for whatever team. If you pick Watford, you might have a little bit less of recruiting members. We're Liverpool, so we're a massive club. We've got a lot of money. So, um, so we don't um, really need to recruit anybody. We do have two spaces. You can see these are unfilled. Uh, so we have two spaces in the coaching staff. But we have no spaces free in recruitment. We have no spaces free in medical. But then what you want to do is you want to click responsibilities. Now this brings up this whole list down here of responsibilities for yourself, for your uh, and your staff. So staff recruitment, hire and fire, head of youth development. You can have that as up to you. Or you can put it as your director of football. I'm just using the scroll wheel here. You can put it to the chairman. You can put it to Kenny Dalgleish. She's on the board. But I always put it director of football if you have one. Iron Fire Chief Scout. I always put that again to the director of football. Iron Fire First Team Manager. I leave as me because I work closely with him. Iron Fire Coaching Staff. I put as director of football. And Iron Fire Non Coaching Staff. I put as director of football as well. That takes off a lot of time. At some points of the season, especially towards the end, players, were, players and staff who are coming out of contract, you have to go through every single individual player, our staff, and negotiate a new contract with them. And if you, like, if you've just seen with us, we have 30 staff in one area. If 10 of them are going out of contract, that takes a long time. That's that's half an hour to 45 minutes just sorting contracts out. Especially if you really wanted to give them a contract. By doing this, you get an option at the bottom that says give it to the DOF, Director of Football. You click that, he negotiates the contract. If they refuse the contract, then because you've got hire and fire players as well, he will then replace them with similar or better players or staff. Transfer incoming. I always leave transfers for me. I don't want... Anyone in my staff selling players without me knowing. Uh, transfers outgoing, again, I leave all that to me. Uh, contract renewals, I leave the players to me because I'd like to negotiate the players. But uh, decide if all of the staff should be given the contracts, I give that to the director of football as well. Scouting, I give to the chief scout. Uh, update you on players... Uh, that the scouts have found, Dave follows, Chief Scout again, and then handle scout meetings, I put that as me, so I finalise, and I get to see all the youth on all the people that they've suggested, and then I can make the decision on whether I want to sign them or not. So I leave that as the manager. Training. Training has a really big update in Football Manager 19 compared to all the others. I've been playing Football Manager since about 2005 and before that, I was uh, maybe not 2005, maybe a bit later, 2007, but I was playing Championship Manager before that. S training at the moment is amazing. And we've got the training button here. Uh, I'll just confirm that, yep. And you can do all sorts of stuff. Some saves I go into it, some saves I don't. What I would highly recommend for a first-time player or an unexperienced player is give it to your assistant manager. Plan general first-team training, assistant manager. Set up individual training for first-team players, give it to your coach or whoever. You can go into training and change this, but it's best. It's just so much easier. All the under-23s, give it to your under-23s and under-18 managers. Youth development, give it to the head of youth development. So when you've picked everything you want to pick there, you would click confirm, then the thing will pop up in the middle, you put confirm. Next, you want to press first team, and this is another big one. Handle team talks, that's what you want to be. Handle tactical briefings, give it to your assistant manager. They make, they make a big difference in the game, but what you say doesn't make any difference at all. So you might as well just give it to the assistant manager. Handle press conferences, this is entirely up to you. If you have the time and the patience, to sit and sit through questions after questions all the time, uh, then more to you. It does make it a bit more of an immersive game. Um, even if you put this as you, you, there is an option every time to send assistant manager. I just put it as assistant manager just to save me that extra click. And all new press conference, uh, new signing press conferences. Again, if you can be bothered to sit through it then more to you, but I always put it as the director of football. Handle tunnel interviews. This is just a few questions before every game. Again, I can't be bothered with it. doesn't make really much difference. Give it to your assistant manager. Handle opposition instructions. I always put it as me. Handle man match, manage friendly matches. 
I put as me. Player search advice, I like to get the advice from directors of football. Coach report advice, I get from the head of view development. And handle auto picking team selections. Uh, that's system manager. That only comes into play if you go on holiday uh, and you skip a few games because you use that option for those cowards who do it. You can have that. Uh, confirm that. And then you are ready to then start playing. You can press click here and look at them all. You can also press spacebar. So Smith takes charge at Liverpool, blah, 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 blah. Welcome to Liverpool. Now you can attend this meeting and all it says is, all that it says is you have an interview with Tony Warner of Werner and he tells you everything that's on this page. So you can just skip these meetings. Attend them if you want and answer the questions. I skip them. Okay. That is basically how you set the game up and then you're ready to click on to the next bit which will be dynamics which is uh, this point here and team report which is this one here so that's going to be episode two dynamics and team report thanks for watching make sure you like and subscribe because i think the more that we get these videos out here the easier and more players will play football manager hopefully that's my aim so without further ado let me say thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next episode of how to play Football Manager. Goodbye.